Aloha, welcome to Real Talk with Sandy. I'm Sandy Hale, retired nurse and Redanian Fields consultant for the last seven years. Today's product tutorial is gonna be a simple demonstration on the two different ways that you can actually apply um, your radiant defense. So I'm not gonna go into radiant defense. I have a video on that, the six shades and whatnot, but this is um, the color that I use. So I use sand and I have fully done my face in the sense that I washed with reverse, uh, put on this number two, which is the toner, did the skin treatment, um, but I like to use number four from Soothe. And the reason I use this is it's a mineral sunscreen. So for myself, it kind of, as you can see, it, it mattes out. It doesn't add any extra shine. And it's also, it's giving me that 30 SPF. And then of course, when I apply my Radiant Defense, I'm adding an additional layer of 30 SPF. So when you get uh, your Redan and Fields Radiant Defense, you do have the option of getting their brush. This is what it looks like. You can get this separately, you can get it as a bundle, or, you know, like I said, you if you have your own. But this is the brush that I use. It is the Redan and Fields Radiant Defense brush. And this is how I apply it. So I use the brush, however, on this last trip, I forgot to pack my brush on the way to Oregon. So when I got there, I was like, oh shoot, how am I gonna apply my Radiant Defense? Well, you can also apply it with your, uh, your fingers and rub it in and the heat right from your body actually helps to move that around. So I wanted to give you a couple tips on that. So what I do is I shake it up and I put about, about a pea size and that's pretty much, uh, that gives me the coverage of my face. As you can see, I do still have a little bit of sun damage, which is why I'm using reverse. And so what I love about the Radiant Defense is while I'm working on reversing my sun damage by utilizing my reverse regimen, the Radiant Defense instantly gives me this perfecting look on top of adding that additional sunscreen to it, right? I got this sun damage obviously from years of being in the sun, not taking care of my skin, not thinking that it would show up, and here I am in my 40s and it's here. So I love that, that I don't have to just wait and I don't have to wear heavy foundation to cover what I'm currently working on. So. Like I said, I put a little dot on my hand, I go ahead and I touch it on my brush, and then what I do is I work from my, from my nose out, and I just make small, like this, like little dots, and then I start to just dot around, and what I like to do, actually, once I've got it pretty much um, in the three areas, you know, I do my, my nose, I do my two cheeks, and then, of course, my forehead, and what I like to do is then circulate. And I find that in circulating, it, one, gives it a really smooth, easy, you don't see any brush strokes, you don't see any lines, um, and it give, it's quick. You know, I don't have to sit here and worry about and look at, oh, did I leave any areas, you know, untouched or, Am I going to walk out and have lines on my face because, you know, I was just doing a, an up and down motion. So that's why for myself, I love to do um, this circular. I find that it blends really well, really quickly. So this is one of my suggestions to you that if you have the brush and you're utilizing it, try this. Try and move it around in a circular motion like this and you'll see how quickly you'll get this really nice coverage, okay? So there you go, right? And if you were to look at this as opposed to when I first came on without the coverage, you can see how it's covered uh, my dark marks and my, my face looks instantly, my skin tone looks smooth and even, okay? Now, this is the other way that I did it, because like I was telling you, I did not bring my brush when I went to Oregon. So I did have the um, similar, 
I'm not gonna put as much because I already have on. But what I did was I used my finger and I would put it down and I would dot like this, I would dab it. And then what I would, I would do was work it in to my skin. What I did, what I do find though, is even though I use the brush, if I have a blemish, this is a great way because Radiant Defense is buildable coverage. So it's a really light coverage. It's not, um, it's not heavy at all. And you know, you already know it's not gonna clog your pores and it's not gonna cause acne. So when I do get blemishes, when it's that time in the month and whatnot, I will you do this and dot, and I will give myself extra coverage right there. And that's it. And it, again, the heat from my finger and my face blends it really easily. And that's it. So I hope that this helps you guys. Um, subscribe to my channel. I do weekly product videos, and then I also share about the business and business tips. And uh, in eight days, we're gonna be launching some new products. So I'm gonna be coming out with new videos on those demonstrations and what they do and how I utilize them. So share this video, subscribe to my channel, guys. Try these uh, two different ways and see what works best for you. Um, another tip, I'm so sorry. The reason I find that utilizing my finger, well, it worked really well in Oregon was there isn't much humidity. It's, the air is really dry there. And here, I live on um, Oahu, we have a lot of humidity. So I actually found that utilizing my finger and moving it around um, on my skin, I did get still a really nice light even coverage. Whereas if I do that here, it takes a little bit longer. So. I'm sure it has a lot to do with that. So depending on you know where you live and um, where you're watching this from, just you know take that to heart. Try both ways. See what works best for you. Um, it, it may even be a combination. Like I said, I like to utilize the brush, and then if I have blemishes, you know, I'll dot it. But thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, aloha.